we've been saying it has been a bit of a tough year uh, for department stores. In fact, perhaps a tough few years uh, for department stores. Now, Macy's has been responding, cutting costs, rationalizing and improving its store fleet, building out e-commerce. But you've also been focusing on a number of innovations. One of them we're looking at right now, which is story, a sort of shop-in shop experience uh, for customers. Uh, how successful has it been so far? We're looking at the second iteration of it now. So yes, I think Story has been very successful for us. This is Outdoor Story. We started with Color Story. And I think as you're hearing every retailer talk about, you know, what can they do with experience? And you think about brick and mortar, which is the bulk of where our business is still done, it can no longer be just a place of transaction. It's also got to be a place that gives customers new ideas, inspires them, gives them an opportunity to connect on things that they wouldn't normally see. And so when we bought Story, the idea was that it would change like a gallery, change with frequency, would have the point of view of a magazine, but it would also sell like a store. And, uh, and that's what it's done. Well, and this is the second iteration of it. So you must have some sense of how it has been working in terms of the sales side of things. What is it doing in terms of driving traffic and driving yeah. sales? It's been great on all four fronts. You know, and I, I think about four fronts. First off, it's fun. So when you look at the customers that are here, the conversion of customers that come into Story is much higher than any other area of the store. They love the products. It's Most of it is unique products. It's like 70 different vendors, lots of collaboration. It's giving, you know, existing customers reasons to come back. So we're seeing existing customers come with more frequency because of Story. New customers to come in. I mean, this has gotten amazing press. So customers are hearing about Story. They're coming to visit it. And then the fourth thing that it's doing is it's bringing us new partners. So on this particular Story, we're partnering with Dick's Sporting Goods. We're, we're partnering with, you know, Scott's Miracle Grow. New partners are calling us every day to want to do business with Macy's, which is one of the advantages of this new concept. Well, that's interesting because that partnership with Dick's Sporting Goods for Outdoor Story is something Something new. You're bringing yeah. an established retailers, private brands uh, into Macy's. Uh, do you see yourself doing more of that? And can you tell us who that might be with? You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you about the, ne the next story that we're doing. We'd always do these reveals of it, but we're very open to it. You know, this idea that we would take, I mean, I would tell you that, you know, collaboration is the new competition. So this opportunity that we would work with somebody like Dix or, you know, Miracle Grow, I mean, one of the big, big, you know, uh, trends that's going on right now is indoor plants. So what better, you know, authority than that that would be Scott's Miracle Grow? And some of our best sellers is the art of how you manage indoor plants in this particular store. Now, your story is in 36 of Macy's stores. You have a lot more stores than that. Do you see it expanding to other stores? Yeah, I do over time. I mean, what we wanted to do is we wanted to get this thing. As you know that with Macy's, you and I have talked about this in the past, we test, we iterate, and then we scale. And right now we're in the iteration phase. So this thing was we're in 36 stores, 15 different states. You know, we have 70 different brands that are in this. We change this every four to six weeks. 250 different special events that go on in story to be able to bring the community into the store. So we're loving what we're seeing so far. So there's a lot of innovation that's going on. Uh, your investors perhaps are not buying it yet. Not if you look at your stock price yep. this year. What do they not yet understand about what you're trying to do with these innovative concepts? So let me tell you what we're, what we're doing. And, you know, I believe that the stock price will take care of itself over time. You know, we're really focused on growth and we're focused on it in four ways. We're focused on top side growth. So, and you know, we've had six consecutive quarters of O plus L comp store growth. You know, we're focused on market share growth would be number two. And we're doing that business by business, store by store. There's some businesses in which we're gaining strong market share, um, but I'm not going to be satisfied until the brand overall is growing at the overall uh, retail market. The third thing we're doing is we're focused on customer growth. We're doing a really good job with our existing customers. What can we do to be more attracted to the Gen Z consumer? We've got lots of ideas and we've got lots of tests that are underway right now and having some success with that. And then the fourth, which is the one I think Wall Street is most interested in, is what are we doing with profitability growth? And so we have a line of sight about how we can grow profit over time. We've got an initiative called Funding Our Future that improves our productivity and our efficiency. We've told the street that we're going to be very declarative about what that's going to look like, what that horizon looks like later this year, and we will discuss 
disclose it then. Well, talking of later this year, we are in July, but I know, Jeff, you and your team will, of course, be thinking about holiday for retailers. It's just around the corner. It's yeah. one of the most profitable times. How do these innovations and everything that you're working on now set you up for holiday? It all coalesces on holiday. So when you think about what we just did with Black Friday in July, you know, that was an opportunity for us to test values. How do customers respond to it? That informs what we do in July. Think about experience and what we're doing with concepts and special events. How does that affect what we're going to be doing during the holiday time frame? New products. We're constantly doing that either online, through Vendor Direct, in our stores. That informs what we're going to be doing with our gift strategies. What price points work? What experiences matter? What conveniences do we have to provide? You know, when the second holiday ends, we're really planning for the next year's holiday. Because to your point, big chunk of the sales, bigger chunk of the profits. We've got to get holiday right.